Rivals.com here with Miriam Roberts, a junior on the women's cross country team. Miriam, um, head into NCAA regionals. Uh, you get to just go up by 25 to Denver to Washington Park where you've ran before. Um, how excited are you to, to get back on, on the course and, and run this um, meet that you've really been training all year for? Yeah, I'm really, really excited. We've um, tapered up for this race, so we've cut back our mileage, and actually Denver's pretty close to home, so the whole family will be there, which is super exciting too. And yeah, all of us girls have just put in a lot of work this year, and we focused all of our goals on this meet, so this is the most important meet, and we all love this course. It's just two loops of 3K, so it's pretty easy, and just we all really like the course, so we're all really excited. Well, Thunderwolves.com here with Marcelo Aguera, sophomore on the cross country team here at CSU Pueblo. Marcelo, uh, top 10 in the nation for the last month, month and a half, um, moved up to the regional rankings to third. This team has been primed to, to have this type of success, but ha have you been surprised at all of, of, of how well this team has come together and, and placed this season? Um, to be honest, we. Uh, we like get along so well in this team um, that it, it really comes of no surprise at all. Um, we talked about it last year of you know the new recruits coming in and how would they fit into um, our program, um, and we we think it's it's just been super functional with them, and that's why no really no surprise at all. It's really exciting. Jillian really did come in and help our team a lot this year, and I think. Just having Rachel there to kind of be be there for the first part of the race for her is going to be good because she's still young and she still gets a little nervous in the beginning of races. But Rachel's come on strong and she's definitely going to be able to be a big part of our team. Like she has worked her butt off this season cross training and because of that she's going to be able to take Jillian out in the place she needs to be, which is going to get our team where we need to be at the end of the race. And yeah, Bailey and Jordan have done amazing things this year so it's just been a really enjoyable season because we all get along so well and everybody's been working so hard all year so we're just ready to see the first part labor I think so yeah it's been it's been very interesting because um, after and I mentioned it uh, the other day after the RMAC championships we came in third and that was a good result for us but it felt like a punch in the gut because, uh, you know, getting beat by minds like that and Adam State. Um, so, so then it was like a, a waking call. And we, we just took that very seriously. And so the, the next few weeks, we just went to work and um, we, we went uh, pretty hard. And so we, we really concentrated on just being uh, mentally prepared for this race. Um, and I, I laugh because um, th we have this saying on, on our team uh, that goes, um, uh, it's not about stats, it's about heart. And I just think it's really funny because, well, I, as funny as it sounds, I, I think it's very true. I think um, if we go out there and we just run uh, with our heart, you know, and then race as hard as we can, uh, then there's just no reason why we shouldn't be part of um, the national championships. So that's that's our quote and, and I'm sticking to it. 